Ah, coffee. Hey guys, my name is Paul and welcome to the channel and my first ever official lighting tutorial. Today we're gonna look at how to turn this into this. Quite a difference, wouldn't you say? It's the same time of day, in the same room, and uh, the only difference is lighting. So, let's dive into that, shall we? That's always the first step when it comes to setting up lighting and everything. Make sure you know where the camera is and how the frame is looking before you start setting up your first light. As you can probably see by the first image here, it looks boring. Uh, we're using the household lights, which is a ceiling light, which is, well, ugly. This looks horrible. I would never use this in a, in a movie or short film or whatever. So uh, let's start making this a little bit nicer, shall we? The camera is placed, the frame is set, uh, shooting this on the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. So starting out, we turn off all the household lights and uh, what's left is a pretty dark room, apart from a little bit of window light coming in from the outside. So this is what we have to work with. So what, where do we start? Well, we start with a practical, which is going to give a bit of an interest to the scene. In this case, it's a desk lamp, which I've, well, fastened to the bedside table. It's a warm light, and it is an LED, a cheap one, so it flickers. But this is something I have noticed. If you use practical lights, that flickers, but you have stronger, proper lights, that flicker usually is drowned out. So there's a tip for you. Anyway, moving on. As you can see, when we turn on the practical light, it does cast some light on the actress, but that's a good thing, because what I'm going for in this look is a bit of color contrast. So next up is actually simulating moonlight coming through the window, or through the window blinds. So let's see what that looks like. To simulate the moonlight coming in from the window, I placed a Came TV Bolton 55 watt LED Fresnel light. Uh, I can highly recommend these guys, by the way. For the price, they are absolutely amazing. They are silent. They come in barn doors, built-in Fresnel. And yeah, they are really bright for the price and size. Extremely portable. This is shooting in through the window, through the blinds, from the balcony, which is outside the bedroom, to cast a bit of a, a patterned light over the, the, uh, the bedroom. So let's see what that looks like. As you can see right now, the blue light coming in from the window is because the light is daylight balanced, and the camera is set to around 4000 Kelvin. This is because I want this kind of yellow, blue look. Uh, nothing really properly white, because, well, that's boring. So we are almost there with the look, but uh, when I studied it in camera, I thought the frame looked a bit boring on the right side because it just falls off into darkness and, well, nothing's there, basically. So uh, we did a bit of MacGyvering and uh, came up with this. We put a, a, a glass vase or candle holder, whatever it is, on top of a toolbox and put it just on the right edge of the frame to give us this. Putting that glass thing, whatever it is, uh, makes it catch the light from the window and giving a bit of interest and a bit of foreground to the shot, which in my eyes looks a lot better and it's not as boring as it was well, without it. When shooting this, we noticed that the shadow side was falling into pure black, which is never a good thing. Uh, doing it in post is one thing, but in camera, usually not a good thing. So we put a beadboard on the camera left side, just outside the frame. And then we found a tungsten colored background image for a phone. We cranked up the brightness and had it full screen, which lit up the face and acted a bit like a key light, which worked out pretty nicely. And then to finish off the image, I used this. Uh, it's haze in a can. And if you don't have money or access to a, a fogger, or even better, a hazer, uh, buy a few cans of these. It's magic, I think. So I just let it uh, spread through the room and give it a bit of a highlight roll-off, which it really does. The only thing I did in post to this image was uh, color correction, which is contrast, saturation, and uh, white and black levels. This was done in DaVinci Resolve because I'm shooting in Blackmagic Raw. Uh, it's always the only thing that can handle it at the moment. Apart from that, I added a bit of a vignette, 
to uh, focus the image more on the actress instead of the surrounding room. And uh, that's it. That's how you go from a very boring household lit bedroom to an interesting fake moonlight bedroom shot. If you liked the tutorial and you want more, drop a like, subscribe to the channel and uh, give me a comment. Let me know what would you like to learn and uh, see you on this channel. Until then, my name is Paul. Have a good one.